are learning more about the early morning chase that stretched across the metro area, ending with a shootout between deputies and suspects. One suspect is dead, another injured, and another in custody. The investigation still has major roads shut down at this hour. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'm Britt Marino. The good news, no law enforcement members were injured. We are covering Colorado First with the latest on this officer-involved shooting. It started around 3.30 when deputies tried to pull over a Jeep Grand Cherokee at Broadway and C-470. The driver fired shots at deputies and sped off. It all came to an end at Dry Creek Road and I-25, where the suspect crashed under a bridge. CBS 4's Mackenzie O'Keefe has been following the story for us since this morning. And Mackenzie, I understand you spoke to a man who saw it happen right outside his apartment. I did, Britt. He said that the law enforcement presence last night was just all over the street. He actually just came out a little bit ago to see what exactly was happening. And you can see it's still a very active scene out here. Police are all over. They're still investigating. And the street is still shut down, completely covered in those evidence markers. Now, police are both investigating on the ground, and they're also using a drone to really piece together what exactly took place out here this morning. One suspect is dead, a second suspect in the hospital and is expected to survive, and a third suspect has been arrested. Now, this all began as a traffic stop around 3.30 this morning. The Douglas County Sheriff's Office attempted to pull over an SUV in the SU 470 in Broadway, and that's when the driver of that vehicle took off. Deputies ended up chasing that SUV for quite some time, about five uh, miles, they said. And it was during that pursuit when the suspect fired at those deputies multiple times and were even dropping items out of their SUV. Now, eventually, that Sheriff's Office was able to stop the vehicle after crashing into it right here off I-25 and Dry Creek Road. And that's when Chris Padilla, who lives right at this intersection, woke up. You could hear um, the loud car crash at first, so I thought it was just a wreck. And then you just heard the pop, pop, pop. Um, and it sounded like an exchange almost. And uh, that's when I knew something was going on. And then for the next 30 minutes, you just heard nothing but sirens from police officers showing up and um, saw all the ambulances come in, about two or three ambulances. Now, what he, what he is describing is when exactly that shooting happened with those suspects. The vehicle out here that is uh, crashed up and are bent up out here, that's actually stolen, we learned, from the Douglas County Sheriff's Office. And we also have learned, again, that no deputies were injured in this. That's the good news. There's no word on when exactly this busy intersection will open up. Again, it's pretty active. There's still a lot going on out here, so it has caused quite a mess for drivers, but anticipate it to be closed for quite some time. We are live in Centennial. Mackenzie O'Keefe covering Colorado First. Wow, they've been working this one for a while. Mackenzie, thank you so much.